Rahim, uh, my dear vascular colleague. I would like to speak today in the series of Mastering Vascular Surgery about the superficial vein thrombosis algorithm according to the recent guidelines. My name is Mr. Muhammad Omar Farooq, consultant to vascular surgeon. Uh, as I have mentioned, uh, one of the very important uh, mobile application for vascular guideline is European Society of Vascular Surgery mobile app. Um, this is a very powerful mobile app and um, we have discussed how uh, the guidelines is all written, the recent 10 guidelines over the last couple of years and the recommendation as well if you want to get summary but here I will present another facility which if you are in an outpatient clinic and you have a patient with superficial thrombophlebitis um, it's a very good idea to open the application on a tool which is called the algorithm tool the algorithm tool which I will show over the next slide will help you to make the decision to have the evidence of this decision and maybe to read also a little bit uh, about it. So let us uh, discuss treatment of superficial venous thrombosis algorithm. So here is the application and as you can see uh, the guidelines are on the first section. The second section is tools and the third section is recommendation. So we'll go to the second section, which is tools. If you go to tools and you go down, uh, there is multiple tool. We discuss the tool for superficial venous thrombosis, which is this one. If you press on it, you will get this screen. This screen will tell you that the first thing you need to do is to ask for a whole leg ultrasound scan to confirm that there is no DVT associated deep venous thrombosis and this the class of recommendation is 1B so this is very strong recommendation and you will have one of two options either superficial thrombophlebitis or superficial thrombophlebitis according with DVT the one according with DVT will be managed as DVT so let us see the superficial thrombophlebitis. If you press on superficial thrombophlebitis, you will get the category of is it less than three centimeter away from the junction with the deep vein or extending more than five centimeter, or it is less than three centimeter and away from the junction. So one one option will be a little bit dangerous superficial thrombophlebitis one is less dangerous so you need to classify into these two categories let us say the commonly one that we see which is the one which is more dangerous let us see what you will do you just press and click on it and you will have all the recommendation available for you the color coding is very important green when you have a class one recommendation if you have a class 2 a and b it will be in blue and orange and the red one is class c which is not to do so number option is fondabarinox 2.5 once a daily is recommended and this is 1b or you can give an intermediate dose of low molecular weight heparin and this is 2a b um, a 45 day course of anticoagulation is recommended class 1b and three months uh, course of anticoagulation uh, which is 2b uh, strength of evidence is c um, ablation of anticoagulation superficial uh, veins should be um, considered once acute inflammatory and post thrombotic phase has settled down so there is no rule for antibiotics there is no rule for anti-inflammatory this is the guideline and this is the best evidence that we have in surgery it is solve you a lot and once you use this algorithm 
10, 20, 30 times, it will become a natural habit what to do and probably you don't need to open the application anymore. So let us uh, continue by having the less dangerous one, which is the other option. And here, therapeutic anticoagulation is anti uh, is recommended, and this is class one evidence C. And three months is anticoagulation is also advisable. As you can see here, if you have a patient with DVT, you need to go to another algorithm, which is DVT. Now, the beauty of this, of this application, not only that, but you can have more information and you can reset it. If you are in the middle uh, with a patient, you can reset, so start for another patient. But the most important one is more information because here it will give you why it have uh, shown this algorithm. And there is, as you can see, uh, there is a, a protocol for superficial thrombophlebitis with the recent ESBS guideline, which is you can straight away look at it. So uh, this is the less uh, dangerous one. And here is the recommendation related to your option. As you can see here, uh, here is the flow chart. You can have number one to do duplex scan and you have either less dangerous or more dangerous superficial thrombophlebitis. And uh, this is the algorithm which exactly has been implemented in uh, this patient. You can review it. You can see the evidence. You can read it. You can thoroughly look at it and see uh, which pathway the patient will go through. It's extremely helpful. This is figure number uh, 11, um, flow chart, and it's very, very helpful. I hope with uh, this example of how you can manage patient with superficial thrombophlebitis, you can tune your clinical decision making to be uh, accurate, to be a standard, and to be recent, and to have an evidence why you have given uh, this uh, type of treatment. I will go through uh, multiple of these tools, uh, hoping that uh, if you apply it 20 or 30 times, it become natural for you uh, to do um, this algorithm. Uh, I wish you all the best. I hope uh, this presentation is of benefit to you. With all my best regard, Dr. Muhammad Amr al -Farid.